Hey guys and welcome to my channel. If you'd like to see me create this simple glitter cut crease look and most people say cut creases aren't simple but trust me this is simple. I am I haven't actually been doing cut creases for that long so yeah keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe. First things first you've always got to prime your eyes so I'm going in with the Urban Decay Primer Potion I don't actually know if that's focusing, I don't know if you can see that. I always just go in with my finger with this because I find it so much easier to like get it all over your eye. I also really like this because it comes with an applicator so you don't have to try and find a perfect one. Should have probably done my eyebrows first, so I'm going to do that now. Um, I use the NYX Taming Frame in chocolate. It's absolutely amazing. It's such a cheap alternative to the ABH Dip Brow. It's really good, and I'm also using the NYX Brow Brush. It's just you get your little spoolie, then you also get your angled. You're probably going to keep hearing buses and cars go past my bedroom window, which is actually really annoying, but hey ho, what can you do when you live on a bus street? I've got so many baby hairs, they always get in the way. It's so annoying. I actually started filming this video the other day. And my camera died halfway through, so I'm really hoping that that does not happen again because it was. Also, I, um, when I rewatched it, I did notice I only had one earring in the whole time, which is also another really annoying thing. But you know, that's just me. I'm stupid like that. But I'm actually just because I'm recreating the look I originally filmed. I'm hoping that it turns out just as good because it actually looked amazing the other day when I did it but you watch just my look at it will not go half as good this time oh bus told ya should probably close my window but my room is just that tiny that it's it'll just end up being absolutely boiling in here and I'll probably just sweat my makeup off so I'm not gonna do that look a bit more human now I've got eyebrows on I've actually got the world's worst double chin. How do you get rid of a double chin? Because I'd really like to know, because it's disgusting. For my transition shade, I'm gonna go in with Modern Renaissance uh, in Raw Sienna. I just think this palette is absolutely incredible. Like, even though they're like, mainly like pinks and oranges and browns just think you can do so many different looks with it but you'll come to learn that i always go for the pinks because pink is one of my favorite colors and i just love wearing pink on my eyes I'm also using my unicorn brushes because they're absolutely amazing but I don't actually know which one's which without the sheet so I will put which one, the name of each brush somewhere on the screen once I find the list out so you can know what brush I'm using to do what thing. But these brushes are incredible, they're so soft, they're so easy to clean as well. I just cleaned mine yesterday for the first time in forever because that is something I'm awful at, is keeping track of how clean my brushes are. So you want to keep bring your transition shade quite far out. Just... And then the darker shades and the colours that you actually want keep closer to your crease. I'm then going to go in with 
my favourite shade in this palette, and that is Love Letter. Same brush, just because the fluffy brushes are really nice for just getting the colour on. Only picking up a little bit of colour each time, so you don't just go all in and then struggle to blend it out. Bring it in on the inner corner just a little bit. Right. Now I'm going on with another one of my favourite palettes. This is the Ultimate Brights palettes from NYX. So pigmented, so beautiful. And I'm just going to go in with these pink shades here. Yeah. So beautiful. Pin it very close to the crease. Don't want to drag it too far out. I'm also bringing it right down into the corners, like the inner corners. I'm going to go in, this is just a blending brush from Revolution, it's actually really pretty, nice little rose gold colour. I'm just going to blend that pink right out into the transition shade. I'm also going to shape it into a bit of a point in the outer corner, because I like, I don't know, it just really suits my eyes, because they're quite small, to have it going out in like a natural flick. Also, this is a kind of cut crease look, so I just think that soft blended out flick just goes really well with cut creases. This is just another one of my unicorn brushes. Just like a nice, it's really, really nice to just get solid colour into the crease. It's also good as well because you can kind of, especially with cut creases, you can... You can almost draw where you want that line to be. And it also, with this brush, I find you can pack colour on with so much pigment and precision. You'll always notice I'm always going to be hyping these brushes up because that, ugh, one of the best things I've actually bought. I think they, I got them on pre sale because they're the newer ones, they're the rose gold ones. Um, I think I got them on the pre-sale for about 55 I'm not actually too sure how much they are now. They might be like 65 or something like that. But honestly, if you're looking for a nice pair of brushes that actually look pretty and work, these are absolutely incredible. The only thing is, I don't know if you can see this, but they're quite flimsy and a few of mine have snapped at the bottom but I don't really care about that too much because they actually work. Why is it not focusing? The shades I was are just ripped. Fair enough. Fair enough Courtney. The shades I was using, by the way, in the NYX palette, I've just realised that they've got, never noticed this before, was shades 2, 3, 1 and 7, just in case you're interested. Now I'm just going to carve out my cut crease with concealer, and this is the Maybelline Age Rewind. Now this, I think it's, it is a good concealer, but I mean, I've seen so many people reviewing it. It's not as good as they think. I mean, this is the lightest shade and I'm obviously really pale and look, it's like, it's orange, so it's really not, but I do find it really, really good because it's so pigmented just to carve out that cut crease which is the only reason I it's the only time I'll use it so I'm just gonna use this is the 
brush that you get in the After Dark palette. It's got actually some really, really nice just flat ends to it. So I'm using this just to carve out that quick crease because I never actually use this as an eyeshadow brush. So you just want to just take it right, right up to the crease. Just shape. Now, I mean, people always do the flick differently, of course. I like to keep mine quite low. I know a lot of people like to do this with their finger, actually, too, but... Which you can, I do sometimes do it with my finger, but for this particular look, I want it nice and sharp. I mean, the modern Renaissance palette is just that pigmented that a lot of the time you need a few coats because it does turn this a bit pink in places. I'm just going to pat it out with my finger and then go back in and just neaten it up. The best part, I know a lot of people struggle with cut creases, which is why this, doing it with concealer, is so convenient. But also, I mean, you can't, you can kind of just keep going in and out with it. Like, I'll go in again in a minute with the pink and just carve that line out even more. So again, I'm just going to go in with this brush. And then I'm going to go in with shades. I think it's one and two. So the red and the pink here. As you can tell, this is my first video, so I'm not really used to the camera angles and where to point, but hopefully I'll get used to that in the end. So I'm just going to go back in and just deepen that crease and really make it pop. I'm trying to tell if they're even or not. For my lid, I'm also... It's I'm actually using an eyeliner because but this oh, this stuff is incredible. It's only two ninety nine. It's the collection's glam crystals. I genuinely like it. And this is in shade Le Freak. It's basically just like painting your eyelid this part because it's so creamy and so easy to spread. I wore my makeup like this on a night out on Friday and everyone was literally just like oh you look so 80s which is really fun I also then dressed to suit the look so I wore like a pink mesh crop I just thought I looked pretty cool now I'm actually doing the end like a wing Oh, just got it in my eye. One eye always goes so much better than the other. It's really, really irritating. Oh, ignore my little scab mark. Pick, keep picking my spots. Notice that this eyebrow looks awful. Cat hairs. I can't escape them. I just had to close my door, and in the process, I knocked my TV off my bloody stand. <sighs> okay, so now I'm going to go in with Miss. Oh God, what's going on here? Nope, I'm not going to go in with mascara. I'm going to sort that out. This eye just really is not going to plan. But honestly, just look. Look how pretty the glitter is. I'm just going to go in with a little bit more pink because you can never have too much. This will also help just to clean up any spillage of glitter. Okay. 
mascara I'm going to go in with first I'm going to go in with the Wake Me Up mascara by Rimmel oh, this is in extreme black and it's also I'm pretty sure this is a sensitive one and if, oh, if you haven't used this oh my god it's amazing it smells like cucumbers I actually don't really like how this mascara makes my eyelashes look either so I also then go in with this is a number seven one it's the extreme length actually all the text has come off so I couldn't actually show you but this is in black I wanted the extra black but they didn't have it oh, I was pretty upset but this is actually really good especially I, I love the wand on this side so. okay guys you're gonna have to bear with me because I'm actually really annoyed about what has just happened so my camera decided to stop filming for some unknown reason and did not record any of what I have actually got on my face so I'm just going to talk to you quickly about the products I've actually used so for my primer I used the NYX pore filler my foundation that I'm wearing is Estee Lauder Double Wear in Desert Beige but however this shade is actually really dark for me uh, so I actually mix it with the Body Shop Lightning Drops because I'm an idiot and ordered it in the wrong shade the contour kit that I use is the Revolution Ultra Cream Contour Kit. It's actually really bad, so I need to buy a new one. And I also use the um, Ultra, Scoop, Ultra Scoop and Contour Kit by Revolution as well, which I use more for like a bronzer. And the concealer that I use is the Collection Last Imperfection. It's in their lightest shade, which is One Fair. And the lashes that I used also, which did not record as well is the Wicked Lashes by NYX's in Flirt. And when I appear back on the screen in a minute, I'm using the Moonchild Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills in Pink Heart and... and I'm back. Is it recording? Yes. My camera literally... My camera just completely just decided, oh, it doesn't want to film, start filming anymore, so it just shut itself down. Thank you. Thank you very much. As I'll say, Pink heart in the corner. My eye was making a really funny noise. Oh, it stopped now, so I can't even show you that. Ooh. Ooh. Blue. Really, really like it if I can match my Moonchild shades with an eyeshadow that's like similar. So, like Lucky Clover, I'll mix in with like a green eyeshadow and it just makes the colour in and the pigment of the highlight just stand out so much more like look that's actually it, the highlight actually more pink I mean the highlight's quite pink anyway but I love it like if I could have this colour this much pink on my cheeks I would because I love it that much I also use this brush a lot on my nose just because it's thin and then I'll go in with my finger just for the end. Give me moisture on my nose. It's so upsetting. So, so dry. It's gross. It's gross. Bear in mind, you've seen how dry I showed you my skin was earlier. I put baby oil on my face. Baby oil, and it is still that dry. Most people put baby oil on and they'll just pop out in a load of spots because of the grease, but not me. Please, someone help me. I'm gonna go in. Just, I'm gonna zoom you out a bit now, actually. Just my top lip. I really. I don't know why, but I like to over highlight my lip because I don't. I think my lips are quite small, especially my top lip. So I just like it to look just a little bit juicier. <clears throat> Do I want to go all out with the fan or nice and simple? Maybe I'll do one on each so you can kind of see how each brush works. Okay, yeah, I'm going to do that actually. So back in with the pink heart. Always tap off the excess because it's really fall out. No. I'm just going to go. Cute. This is. 
The only thing I have to complain about this one is that it's just so big. So you have to try not to get it all in the one colour, I kind of pinch it together like this. Just so I can like dab it in. There. Shake it off. I don't even think I really got any product on there. Mm. I'm just going to not shake it off. Do you know what? I haven't used this in that long. I don't think this is very good with the Moon Child. That might be what it is because it's so big it's hard to pick up a lot of product. Like when I use this with my Revolution Baked Highlight, I've got the gold one. It turns out really good but... <laughs> Because the pans are so small on this, it's not actually picking up that much. I don't know, it's probably just me. Mm. I'm going back in with this. That's better. That is so much better. put it all over my face or something all of it. I was gonna say what haven't I done? I thought I'd done everything but no no lipstick. I'm gonna go in with two lipsticks. I'm gonna use the the top one is Teddy and this one is bedtime flirt. Yes bedtime flirt. Mm. I was gonna go in with this little lip brush. This is from this is a Real Techniques one. I actually think this was my sister's and I have stole it completely. I've, I've had this for over a year. I'm not in focus. What is going on? There we go. Am I? Yeah, I am. It's okay. I'm going to use Teddy for the outer lip and then Bedtime Float on the inner lip. Because I actually don't own any lip liners. Because... The amount of times I redo my lipstick a day because I eat so much. There's just no point in me using a lip liner because it just comes off and I just constantly having to draw my lips back on again. I'm not even in the frame. What's going on? Twist. There we go. My lips are such a weird shape. Like... I hate, I actually hate them. It's one of my biggest hates is my lips. Just, they're not the same shape both sides. This one's round and this one's, no, this one's round. This one goes like flat. Like, I don't know, I don't get it. I also have scars in my lips because when I was a kid, I basically, thought it'd be a really good idea to start running down the road in flip-flops. I haven't, I literally have not worn flip-flops since this day because I hate them that much because it's traumatising. Fell over, smashed all my face off the concrete floor just outside my house, knocked, chipped all my teeth. Oh, it wasn't fun. I nearly had to have a root canal because my teeth were basically, I had knocked the nerves so hard that my teeth were basically dying. I didn't end up having to have root canal, thank god. I would have cried. I mean, I'm quite lucky that my teeth are still straight because I don't know how they're still straight because of that. Because I hit my face with some first, I was coughing up blood. It was. I don't know why I'm telling you this, I'm just going off on a tangent, I do that a lot. I'm going in with the bedtime flirt. Just on the inner inner parts of my lips. I just really think these two colours blend really nicely together. Then I'm just going to dip into a bit of the pink heart and just dab a bit on my bottom lip. Dab it in with the brush. Mm. 
There you go. Just realized that whole time I went in shot. Oh my god, our back just clicked so much. That was amazing.